talk about the CAD exam which was conducted on November 25th and few students are going to share their experience regarding the exams. Hi, I'm Neha Mota. I'm from CUP batch of 2017 EABC graduate. Uh, hello, I'm Rushiresh Pandey. I am currently pursuing mechanical engineering uh, at COEP and I gave the exam in slot 2. I'm Pranam Gorbade, I'm also from CUP. I'm currently studying production engineering and I give the exam in slot 1. Hello, I'm Rohan. Uh, I'm a chartered accountant. I cleared in May 16 and I gave the exam in slot 1. Okay. So, how was your CAD experience overall? Uh, I was in slot 2. So, my overall experience regarding CAD was good. Uh, I felt uh, the quant section was uh, good for me. Uh, it was difficult, of course. Uh, VRC was also good and DIR I felt a for after as well. So, when it comes to your verbal section, how was the overall section when it came to your first section, that was your first section? I believe. Yes, uh, it was actually good that it was the first section and it was uh, easy moderate level, uh, almost on the similar lines compared to CAD 2017. And the uh, 5 RCs were there, which were all of 5 questions. Um, so, uh, the number of questions were uh, different from last year, but uh, still it was easy to read and the uh, options were also not that close to choose from. So, the language was not that difficult, the language yeah. was fine to read, there were no hard vocabulary yeah. rules. Yes. So, when it came to the VA section, that is the parachute, the sort of and some how was that particular section? Uh, it was easier as compared to 2017. Uh, because we had to choose from only four sentences to form the PJs. Right. So last year we had five sentences the same year. Yeah. Right. And summaries and even the odd man out. They were also slightly easier, less time consuming as compared to the RC section, which had longer passages, slightly longer passages. Adding to the uh, like sharing my experience regarding the morning slot, uh, it was similar to the afternoon slot where you had five uh, five question RCs and. Out of them, three of them were really easy because the language was easy, it's, they were easy to read and the questions were also uh, pretty much direct and even if they, they were inference based, the options were really uh, they, uh, far apart so it was easy to guess the answer. Even so, not a huge challenge as well. So, so we can say that verbal was kind of a yeah. easy to moderate level. Yeah. Yeah. So, how about the DIR section? Uh, DIR, it was a it was one much easier as compared to 2017. I would say it was very easy, it was moderate to difficult level. At least one, one set easier, I can say that. So, as against 2017, which was, there was so much of a uh, hype of the IIR, okay. it will be a very difficult section. So, students have that in mind. Yeah, but uh, instead, quant got us in surprise. So, quant was a surprise section. Yeah. Yeah. Anything uh, to add on when it comes to the DIR section that uh, you have experienced? At least in the morning slot, uh, there were more of LR questions and I think there were only one or two sets of DI and most of it was focused on LR and yeah, that was pretty that good. Was awesome. I would like to add one point for the second slot. Uh, every time CAD brings in new puzzles. Right. So, it was maintained this year too for the DI LR section. Uh, there were two puzzles that were, that were not covered in any class okay. because they were very different. They had a different texture. So, there was a challenge in a particular sense. Yes. Uh, I personally felt that DIR was slightly on the difficult side. The Still slot. better than 2017, but difficult. Okay. Uh, coming to the last section, that is your course. So, you have already done two hours of your exam and you are entering the final hour of your exam. So, how was course and uh, what was your experience regarding the particular section? Uh, regarding quant, I felt after DIR, uh, for afternoon slot, it was actually better compared to. So, I was in a good state to solve the quant questions, but just because I had uh, not properly solved here, it was affecting my class. But again, uh, the number of, uh, actually I can say that uh, all the questions were attemptable, they were doable, but only thing was the questions were very lengthy, it was taking a lot of time to solve. So, the questions were time consuming. Time consuming, yeah. Uh, I think to talk about every cost. question was layered. So, uh, it was a mixture of two or three topics coming together. So, it was not a straightforward one minute question and there were no sitters. So, certainly I can say that con section was more of a surprising as well as a shocking section. Yes. Okay. So, okay. one thing I would like to add is generally whenever con is made difficult, it is made difficult in the geometry or algebra section. Right. Right. But this time, uh, the paper was set in a way that the arithmetic section, which we generally tend to find easy, was made difficult. So, we tried to attempt that. But uh, in the end, we uh, made up reasoning 
two to three minutes. And so it will take some extra time yeah. to solve the questions. Okay. Also, so, I'd like to add um, the questions were um, there were many steps involved in the question itself to get to the final answer. So you had to uh, the they were really calculated, so to speak. So and there is a chance once you start the question, you don't feel like leaving. So yeah, you just yeah. try to go to the next step. Okay. So uh, coming to the next thing that we have, uh, what number of attempts did you have for your overall CAT exam section wise? Uh, for BARC, I had roughly around twenty-five to yeah, I think 13-14 uh, and for points I had around 19-22 attempts. So, uh, for me, uh, VAS was slightly better. Uh, I had around 28 to 30 attempts in VARC. For DILR, I had around 13 to 15 attempts, but my point was at a lower side, so I had attempted around 13 to 14. So then the accuracy will certainly play a role in all the three Yes, sure. so definitely. How about for, um, for me, I attempted uh, around 30 questions in VRC, just like uh, in DILR, I attempted uh, 14 to 16 uh, questions, and in Quant, again, I attempted a lot more. I attempted around 20, uh, 20 to 22 questions. That's but a good number for me. Yeah, but depends on the accuracy as well. So let's see what So for me, VARC, I attempted 25 to 28 questions. DILR, uh, 14 to 16. And Quant was a bit difficult for me, so uh, I lowered the number of attempts. It was around 14 to 16. So how was your experience with time? Well, time uh, gave, gave us the faculty at time, they gave us uh, really good guidance throughout the year. They were always present for doubt solving sessions and uh, like keep cat analysis and everything. So, they really helped us uh, prepare uh, well for uh, the cat exam. Uh, coming to the aim cats, uh, the aim cats uh, le level were uh, sometimes uh, a little above the cat level, which helped us you know, psychologically prepare for a tougher paper. And this really helped in yesterday's paper, which was a surprise for us. So, uh, MCAT always experiments with its pattern. So, uh, we had a 5 question, 5 times the pattern which came in one of the MCATs. So, it helped me pacify myself during the VARC uh, surprise. Uh, other than that, our faculty is always there for us for any, at any point of time during the CAT prep, which is very beneficial. So, that was fun. My experience with overall time uh, coaching as well as the test series, it was really good. All the faculties were really always available and they were always uh, helpful in solving all of the doubts. Regarding MCATs, I felt the um, PRC section uh, was uh, slightly on tougher side in MCATs and always uh, with new kind of surprises. Sometimes, sometimes uh, 30 questions, sometimes 32, and always uh, different kind of patterns. Even some many questions uh, were different. So, the surprise factor was eliminated due to practicing in CATS and uh, DRR has felt that uh, CAT uh, level is always something different but we had enough practice for other CATS. Yeah, so I was in the crash batch of time so I was scared of it because uh, I only got 3 to 4 months, three to four months to prepare but the faculty really helped me in boosting my morale and also guiding me the way I should practice and we had, the way in which I should uh, concentrate my efforts. And with respect to the MCATs, uh, I feel that certain MCATs really help in uh, eliminating the, as he said, eliminating the surprise factor of VARC and DIR. For quant, again, as I said earlier, it, is, it was difficult for me, so quant took me by surprise. I just like to add one point is that in B school selections and also form filling, uh, the time faculty helps us a lot, and the administration is also very helpful in all these processes. So, students have shared their experience regarding the attempts as well as how was the CAT overall. And what we have observed is Google section, many students have attempted a lot of questions, so the accuracy will certainly play a role. Whereas DIR was much on an easier level compared to the last year, and COTS was a surprise package this year when it came to the CAT, uh, CAT exam. So, this is the experience that we have regarding the CAT exam which was conducted yesterday. And I would like to thank everyone for watching this video. Thank you.